What is up? Today I've just got a little tip for F2 Gen F prime solving, specifically when you're doing back right to front left multi slotting. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. You could do JSS, you could do the traditional F and solve the back right and then solve the front left. Or you can do this. This is a new thing you can do. And I'm gonna, I'll set up a case that I think is good. Um, Alright, we'll just go off this. Um, Actually, no, I'll, do, I'll do something a little different. Let's do... We'll do that, okay. So, we're doing back right, and this is actually nice because this is a case where pseudo-slotting isn't really the move, since this pair is this pair. <laughs> um, so what you can do is, anytime your back right case is something that sets up to either F R prime F prime, fat F R prime, fat F prime, or it sets up to fat F R fat F prime. So either of those, so either a free pair like this, but from this angle, or like this, but from this angle. And anytime it sets up to that, what you do to get your F2 gen F prime kick in is you just do fat F R S prime. Now you have an FL case, and you just do that. And you do it slightly poorly, but I'm a cube today, that's my excuse. And I'm sticking to it. I'll uh, flip that. So I'll just show you another example. So this pair, you do it normally, but then you do S prime instead, and then you do the FL case. Now one concern that you might have is that fat F R S prime or fat F R prime S prime is easy to mess up. And guess what? You're right. It is potentially easy to mess up. I think it can be practiced. I, I believe in people's ability to, you know, work out this kind of thing. Um, but, let's say you do mess up and you accidentally do fat F prime instead of S prime. Because if you're going to mess it up, the most likely way you mess it up is you just accidentally do a fat F prime. And if that happens, well guess what? You just do a normal pair instead. Don't need to do F2 Gen F prime. So, even if you mess up, you can just reframe it in your mind and tell yourself you didn't mess up, you just chose not to do F2 Gen F prime for that solve. Discord, please shut up. Uh, actually, no, that's that's the SS Discord. I'll, I'll let them let them stay. <laughs> um, bloody interrupting my video. Gosh. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that, that's a little trick. Basically, you don't... Or, oh my god, Discord, please. <laughs> Basically, it's just like a third way of doing F2 Gen F prime for back right plus front left that doesn't involve JSS and also doesn't involve just doing the first F turn and then solving back right because sometimes that's not great. You know, if we... Um, what am I doing? Like this F12 pair, I showed that as one of the examples where you do like the S prime. Trying to do this with normal F2 Gen F prime, you either orient the edge or you get this garbage, and you get this garbage I should say, or you do something like that and you still get like kind of a whatever pair, like I guess I can do that. But basically I, I think it complements the other ways of doing F uh, back right plus front left nicely. I think it covers Cases that may not be solved nicely using other approaches. Um, so yeah, that's it. That is the video. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go see what Discord's got to say at the moment. And I'll see you in the next video.